Hutchinson firefighters responding to a large fire. This was at a scrapyard this morning. Some of the aftermath here. One firefighter was taken to the hospital but has been released. 12 News reporter Kel Chapman talked with businesses that got caught in those flames and how they plan to move forward. New at 9. The Hutchinson Fire Department responds to an early morning fire. Probably half this lot is lit off. The shed on the east side is starting to go also. Calling in all available resources. That includes firefighters from Pretty Prairie, Bueller, and South Hutchinson. We got a fire on the opposite side of the street. Opposite side of the street of the building. They had mattresses everywhere. And they pretty well, like five or six is all left. Everything else is gone. Word spread quickly, and not long after the fire department arrived, Jerry Gilly is starting to get calls. Yeah, I got several calls. Several calls that it, my business was on fire, and it turned out to be the business next door. Luckily, but it did take out one of my buildings. Gilly says when he got to the fire to check on his scrap metal business, the flames were growing. Oh, it was a blaze, man. It was, it was going clear across the street. It even started the building across the street on fire. So yeah, it was something that we thank the fire department 100%, man, because they got right on it. Gilly isn't sure how much the fire cost him, but he's thankful the fire didn't take his whole business. Oh yeah, this building's a complete loss. It'll it'll go, it'll be tore down eventually. And the, the sooner the better now. I, I'm sure that I took a loss on some of my, whatever was in there, but there again, it can always be worse, man. In Hutchinson, Kill Chapman, 12 News. The owner of the business that initially caught fire was out of town when it started on their way back right now to assess some of the damage. What caused the fire is still under investigation.